Alright, we are in the Lopuri Night Market. Now this market's only open three nights a week and this is one of my favorite markets for all of Thailand to eat street food. So come along and have a street food feast with us. So let's go. This is my absolutely favorite dish in the whole market. Yeah, look at this all there. Really? There's more over here. So you can see here, they cook it in the clay pot. Yeah, the clay pot. Have a look at this. Wow, look at the fat. The bigger piece? The big piece. So what is this? Pigtail. Pigtail. Look at all them pigtails. Yeah. So he cleans it up. <laughs> Cuts down the middle. Then bones. Delicious. กรอบกระจายเลยโอเคใหม่ร้อนๆนะครับเดี๋ยวของหนูต้องรอออเดอร์นะแป๊บเดียวนะครับ <laughs> That's why we're back. Yeah. Yeah. So if you come to this market, it's pretty much the first shop under the banana sign uh, when you walk in the market. And he is so nice. Like last time there was here, he's like, oh, the, that all right, just to the left this one, we got one of our other favorite shops here. So one is um, like a stir fry beef, like with some cut in We'll get the 50. Oh, to nasi bakul. Yeah. No, I want the whole plate. Yeah, look at that. So there's where they cook it here, and then they fry it. Ah, yeah, they fry it. It's so good. See? So we're gonna get all the food, and then we're gonna find a table, and uh eat all this delicious food. Just get one of them. This one is 20 baht for boxes and 3 for 50 baht. Yeah. So? This one is coconut topping and inside underneath is candle leaf, pasta, kind of pasta and topping with coconut pasta. So it's like a gooey, sweet and salty dessert. You can see over here, these are all the desserts here. They have it yeah. in their little uh, bowls yeah. and they scoop it out yeah. into the tray. So Jordan's favorite fruit is mango and he hasn't tried the mango and sticky rice yet here in Thailand. So this mango and sticky rice, you can see along the bottom is the sticky rice. Have the mango on top. And uh, on top of it, you pour this white. What is on top? It's a coconut and um, Flowers and then a little bit of salt. And it is delicious, makes everything super sweet and so nice. Oh, how about this? We get one from there, and if you want more, we get more. Ooh. Now, Jordan wants the cheese drumsticks. They'll have all different flavors. And then you can like have your sale out, you know? You get this little uh, tray. tray here Tables and you can just choose one. which one. Over here they're frying them. So what do you How many do you want? I want one of them little buggers. I'll take three for me. Oh, someone hungry. This one is barbecue. And that one is sweet chicken. This one's spicy and this one's mala. Mala is like a Chinese spicy. Chili, so it's spicy and double for one piece. Ten, ten baht for one piece. Now, if you come to this market, one thing that you cannot miss is oyster salad. This is Sai's favorite. Oh, yeah, I'm Oh, You know my favorite thing? The one that goes on top. These little crispy shallots. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. Yeah. Oh, you can buy like this, like whole bag, and then just have like fresh. And the oyster side is like so big. Like. You can 
choose whatever you like. Yeah, you can choose whatever you uh, like. There's a lot of type of uh, salad here. I got um, cram, tomatoes, French cream, and yeah. I forgot what it's called. The one that's found you, jellyfish. Jellyfish. Oh wow. And yeah, the jellyfish. Octopus. Um, cooked crab and raw crab, green mango, all type of salad that you can imagine. A bit of sugar, a bit of brown sugar, is that? Where? I think that's her homemade seasoning. Ah, homemade seasoning. And that's chili paste. Nice. Raw mango and some cilantro. Fresh onion. Salad, yeah. Mix it all up and then uh, size in heaven. Do the taste test. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Got the approval. The lime juice, so. She add more lime juice and some, uh, a little bit of chili powder and some some to the whole whole thing. I don't know that one. And you put what I don't know. Papon hale. Papon hale. This one of this ingredient here is the dried fish. Yeah. Dry seafood. Yeah, dry seafood. And that place is 120 pounds. Show lots on the top. Alright, so she's got her plate. She can't wait to eat. Look at this. Straight into it. Look at the size of the oyster. Ready? They look pretty juicy. Juicy and creamy and fresh. That's the way I like it. And this one on top is like so good. Recommend it. So we've just made it down the first row and look how much food we've already got. And that's the first row. There's still about six more rows to go. Let's do it. I can't stop eating this. Look at all these oranges. These oranges look uh, delicious. It's the beautiful orange lady. You can work here with that top. <laughs> yeah. Pretty fresh, pretty fresh. How much of their orange juice? 50 baht, 25 baht each. Okay, it's under a dollar each. Freshly squeezed. All right, size of fan of the deep fried meatballs. Are these the meatballs with no meat in them? Yeah. We're the ones? I'm not a fan of these uh, fake sausages and They're fake so meatballs. Good. They're so good. This one they're gonna make it smoky. Sai so wants everything. Sai's gonna try the jellyfish. I never tried jellyfish before. You looking forward to the jellyfish? Yeah, my friend said it's like, my friend 
Really? Really? Yeah. And what do they put it on top of like just a bit of salad? And then there's a cabbage. Cabbage. Yeah, and then top it with um I think seafood dipping sauce and then coriander. So you see them have them fresh at the front here. And then they grill them back here. Now he gets the low torch. So they have a small size and a big size, so it's 50 baht for the small and 100 baht for the big one. So it's like $3 for a big one, $1.50 for the small one. $1.50? That's a price you're never going to hear in Australia. You don't get much for $1.50 in Australia. Happy with your seafood? What ocean does this jellyfish come from? Thai Ocean. Yeah? Yeah. That's why they're fishing him. They like a whole boat and then just gonna scoop the jellyfish in the whole long way. So he's been, he's been working that for a couple of minutes now. We're gonna see if Sai likes this or not. This could uh, end up costing me a lot of money if she likes it. She's gonna be getting it every time. Cost you a lot of money. And I like that one already. That's a fish egg. Uh, squid egg. Squid eggs. Okay. This one's a squid eggs. There's squid eggs. And down here's the bugs. This is the Agenda 2030 section. We've got the crickets, caterpillars, silkworms, grasshoppers. Here you got the toasties. Fried sandwich. Ham and cheese. That's a eel. Noodles. Just 20 baht. Alright, we've stopped at the donut shop. Kilowatt pieces, 30 baht. So this one's? Seven piece for 20 baht. Seven pieces, 20 baht. So it's under a dollar. Really? I'm joking, one dollar fifty in Melbourne corner. He's blown away by the value. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. One each in Australia is a dollar fifty. All right, so look at this beef here. It is so delicious. Look at the fat on the end. So it's got like a, a piece of fat, a piece of beef, a piece of fat, a piece of beef. It is so good. If you want the dips, you can do this with a couple. You can dip, but trust me. I want it. I'm all about that original. So they're 10 baht each. Wow, that's a huge coconut water. Damn. Look at that, fresh coconut water. Uh, Refreshing. Huge. Coconut water for days. So long, baby. It's so long. <laughs> this is my favorite. It's pretty sweet, but tastes good. Look at this, it tells you all the benefits of each of this one. This is what you call a street food feast. Look at the whole table is full. Sai's got a smile on her face. Jordan is looking forward to try, what are you looking forward to try the most? Mango and sticky rice. The mango and sticky rice. You're gonna have to wait for that one. We're gonna eat the, the real food first. So Sai, wait, wait, wait. Before you get into that beef, I want you to try that octopus. I'm jellyfish. Oh yes, jellyfish. It's a jellyfish, baby. Jellyfish. So random saying jellyfish eating with oh, food. Smell like can't describe undescribable. Yeah. Nervous. And with dipping sauce, seafood sauce. Oh, 
How is it? Wow. So good. <laughs> so good. It's so tender. Sweet. Crispy. Fresh. It's like you're eating a... Um, it's like you're eating a... Um, squid. Alright Jordan. You gotta try the jellyfish. You only come to Thailand, you know. You, it's not every day you come to Thailand. You gotta, you gotta try something. Is the oh, sauce yeah. spicy? Yeah. All right, get him a little bit. Don't waste He's, my uh, jellyfish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that looks a bit slimy. You don't like it. You don't it's like it. Just so you know, it's not a fan of seafood. And jellyfish is a big step here. <laughs> Alright, wash that. Wash it down with some rose juice. How are you now? That's good. He likes the rose juice. So for Jordan, I want him to try the beef stick. Beef stick. Yeah. Now look at these. These are 10 baht each. So it's about, you know, just under 35 cents each stick. Very good. Nice. How's the beef tender? Yeah. That in the middle it's got like a big bit of like juicy fat. Yeah. In between. Oh, yeah. And you got smell it? like oh, the yeah. smoke of the grill from the grill. And try this one. This is um fried beef. Try this one. Fried beef. This one is this one is like heaven. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like that? How is it, Sai? How's the fried beef? Amazing. Alright, so what else have we got here? You want to try one of your meatless meatballs? Meatless meatball? It looks so boring. There's a no, sauce with it, right? No, the sauce. Never doubt it. And then we have the pigtail. Pigtail. Can't go wrong with pigtail. No. Now this stuff is worth driving to this market alone. Yeah. But make sure you come early come because early. it will sell out. Yeah. They cook it in that clay pot. Jordan, try. It's like something you, like, you, you've you never had before. Yeah, Jordan, gonna try, baby. Oh, oh well. hear that crisp. That was a huge crunch. Nice? Good. Yeah. You love it? Look at that. Dips. The dipping sauce is so good too. I don't know what it is. Maybe tamarind sauce or something. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Heaven. Now the last thing we're going to try is this uh, cheesy fried chicken. Now we... You've had the one with the, like the cheese sauce, but this like looks like a big slice of cheese placed on top. Yeah. Try that, give that a go. And then for the desserts, we're gonna come back and try the desserts. So, Jordan hasn't tried these before, or the mango and sticky rice. All right, here we go, bite into that. About to get messy. About to get messy. Good. Nice. Mm -hmm. how, how do you compare the fried chicken from um, Australia to Thailand? Oh, this is like a hundred times better. Yeah. I'm serious, and you pay less. <laughs> <laughs> Value so for money. Having, uh, the best town of life in yeah. Thailand. The fried chicken in Thailand is yeah. awesome. All right. All right. Let's destroy this. Yeah. We'll be back, and uh, there'll be only this left. We just finished all the food, and now look what we got left. Dessert time. Dessert time. Look at that, Jordan. Dense milk? No, that's a coconut. Coconut with sugar. Corn flowers and salt. It's a little bit creamy and salty on the, on the sauce and it's sweet from the coconut. Alright, try it. Spoon? Yeah. He's, he's a fan of sticky rice. He hasn't tried um, coconut and sticky rice yet. So get a bit of that mango, a bit of that sauce on the top, and a bit Tinto of that um, plastic spoon. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Will he like it? 
Will he have his new favorite dessert? Mm. So good. So good. Oh, yeah. Do you want to have this one on your own? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why he said, oh, no, three. And he was like, oh, All right. Yeah. So oh, Sai's so going to try this insane. one. This one is my favorite. Now, this dessert has gone along well with boat noodles. So if you have the boat noodles, you order this dessert. This one called Pan Long Kui. The or original one is this size. Let's try this one now. Good. Let's try this one. It's got like a pandan custard on the bottom. So did Jordan wasn't a fan of the pandan custard. <laughs> he just ran across the road and uh, spat it out. So far he's not a fan of anything that made up of coconut. We like to try coconut ice cream, coconut water, so he's not a fan of coconut. He's not a fan of coconut. All right, let's get into some of these uh, coconut donuts. Donuts. <laughs> like, try the chocolate uh, donut which bowl. One do you want to try? That'll get rid of that um, custard. Yeah. Look at that. The coconut bowl with the sprinkles. So seven of these is twenty bucks for under a dollar. Oh yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, he's back in the game. <laughs> Alright, what's your favourite side? For this one. Actually, this one is my favourite. My go-to um, kid favourite is butter and sugar. Just like plain donut. Good. Mm. And this one. That looks donut delicious. Rings, topping with um, chocolate and strawberry chocolate and jam in the middle. And this is from Paul. Egg yolk. So there you have it, our street food feast in Laburi in the banana market. Now, at home, guess how much that costs. I'll give you a second to think how much all that food costs. The we'll last Jordan first. How much do you think it all comes to the total? Yeah. $100? No, no. $100? Yes. Really? You think it was $100? Come on, you know. It's lower than that. I'll give you another chance. Sai? Dollars. Twenty dollars. Dollars. What about in bar? In bar, um, big wrong question to ask me because I'm the one holding the money. Oh, you're <laughs> giving that a little out. Oh yeah, about seven hundred. Seven hundred. So I said seven hundred. So she said about twenty dollars. It come to five hundred bar, which is fifteen dollars. So five dollars each. We made the five dollar challenge. <laughs> yeah, well, like fifteen US dollars, so about twenty Australian. So five US dollars each. You can eat like animals. We <laughs> eat real good. All right. So we hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to wrap up today's video. Until next time, dream bigger, much sooner. Peace.